Mm -hmm. A bill that's caused a lot of controversy and put South Dakota in the national spotlight with LGBT advocates will not become law. Governor Dennis Dugard vote vetoed House Bill 10 1008, which would have required public stu school students to use bathrooms that match their gender assigned at birth. Sydney Kern has reaction from Pierre. Oh, I'm just I'm so happy. <laughs> Policy director with ACLU, Libby Screen, says the governor's decision is positive for the state. This sends a really strong message um, to everyone in South Dakota that discrimination is not tolerated in our state. But not everyone is sharing the same feeling. It's disappointing. Representative Fred Deutsch, who sponsored House Bill 1008, says the proposal was intended to be non discriminatory and provide privacy for all public school students. That's why I had this section in there on special accounts. I could have just not included that. I could have just said boys in the boys' rooms, girls in the girls, period. And now Representative Deutsch talked to the governor right before he made his decision. And he says one of the reasons for that veto was liability issues, which Screen says is a valid decision. Without a doubt, had this become law, there would have been lawsuits, there would have been administrative complaints. Um, you know, the law is clear, right? This, this bill would have put state law at odds with federal law. ACLU and many transgender students met with Governor Dugard last week and Screen says whether or not that helped his decision, she's excited about the outcome. It just shows leadership um, and I really hope that legislators across the country um, look to Governor Dugard and, and the great decision he made today and his thoughtful process and I hope that they will follow suit. Representative Deutsch says he will not ask for a veto override, saying it wouldn't have enough votes in the Senate. As for next year, he says he doesn't know if he'll bring up the issue again.